liked it. You know, we were little kids and we thought, yeah, this is a great idea. It'll piss people off. You know, when you're 15 years old, the first thing you think about is, how can I piss people off? You know, and it's very good. To, it's very easy to piss people off when you're 15, especially it's easy to piss off your parents and adults in general. But as you get a little older, <clears throat> um, or as I've gotten older, I've looked back on the symbol of bad religion as um, still having some meaning, but I wish it wasn't so offensive to other people because other people could benefit from the ideas, I think, that we've laid down. Um, <clears throat> for instance, what we look at it today as is uh, just a symbol. The cross is sort of the international symbol, as this uh, parking symbol, the no parking, is everyone in the world can recognize it. Um, the cross we look at as an international symbol for religion. And it's not anti-Christian, it's not anti-Buddhist, it's not anti-Jewish, um, uh, anti it's not anti-anything. It simply is showing, it's our way of showing that we don't like to subscribe to dogmatic ways of life <clears throat> and dogmatic views of life, and that Religion in general is founded in um, in dogma and in restriction of ideas, restriction of thought, and it's these things that I feel are very bad about religion. <clears throat> it's also very bad about nationalistic views. It's very bad. It's something that mankind as a group is not going to benefit from. It's only something that mankind will. Um, it's something that mankind will, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's something that will instill violence and it will instill fighting and it will instill non-cooperation of different groups of humans.